Eric Keller here with EAG. Time for a spring shop walkthrough video. It's been a long winter and spring is finally getting here. Cars are a little bit dirtier than normal, but we have a lot of really cool stuff in the shop today, including this 2013 Lime Rock Park Edition M3. You can tell right there it's a really low mileage car. One owner. Sold it before it even got here. This is a Sportivo, King of the Mountain. 2.5 liter homologation, final iteration. This is a 40,000 kilometer example that just arrived from France. Being processed now, mechanical portion of the rejuvenation is almost done. Then we'll move on to cosmetics. Then into the photo studio. This one arrived shortly after. This is a Macaw Blue Evolution 2. Predecessor to the Sportivo. And certainly the reason behind the vast majority of the E30 M3 race victories, championships, accolades, the homologation changes for this were significant enough to propel these cars consistently to the checkered flag and finish line before the Mercedes and others. Big nice stack of service history. This one's pretty slick being a slick top. Pretty rare, uh, especially being the Cobb Blue. Uh, we have a new arrival. This is a 13 six-speed M3 competition package in for its PPI. 22,000 miles, I think, to another fire orange M4. Individual customer car just purchased, and it is getting Dynantronics and some other goodies. We have an E39 M5 recently sold, getting a Blanton performance gearing differential. One to a 364. These are pretty slick. We have these made so that we don't have to replace them ever again. When they break, you can see they move the sway bar around a bit. One of about five dozen things we're doing to E39M5s just to make sure they're right. This is an old friend, our E34M5 wagon. Just sold this car and it's finally getting ready to off, go off to her new home. And it's final rounds of quality control to perform. And then, got a new arrival. E30 M3, brilliant rot. This is a 90. Came out of New Mexico. Actually sold this gentleman at E30 M3 about a decade ago as a driver. And this was what he called his garage queen. I think that's what his family uh, named it, actually, he said. So you'll see this popping on the website soon. It's a 94,000 mile car. I mean, even for a rival, look at those seats. When you buy the best quality to begin with, you base the decisions on what you buy as a restoration shop, you make different decisions that hopefully are better. That's the goal. And then out front, we got some really cool stuff. We've got a 88, no, 87, excuse me, M6. Original owner, 19,000 miles. I bought this from Carl Yankowski. Carl invented the Palm Pilot. That guy had some stories. Uh, I flew to Cincinnati from Boston because they had one of the only cars available at the time. East Coast was sold out and this was a new model. Everybody was getting premium over sticker for him. He drove it back to Boston, had his 1200 mile break-in service, and uh, we sold it to a repeat client uh, in New York. A 28 M5 from New York uh, that also just sold 57,000 miles going to a repeat client in Southern California and he actually uh, bought our white red E30 M3 with 8,000 miles to pair it with this one so naturally I gotta give him a phone call tomorrow and see if he wants to buy an M6 so he can have the instant uh, BMW collection including the M3 
And then this is another new arrival. This is a McCraw Blue Evolution 2 with uh, about 52,000 miles. And we're keeping it. It's a really good car. So this will go nice with the other Sportivo and other E30 M3s that we have. So we uh, are our own best customer at the end of the day, and that's certainly uh, one of the motivating factors to start EAG to begin with. We love these things. Stay tuned. More to come.